I'm just using four colours, a couple of brushes and of course the plastic card which can be an old store card cut up. I'm painting the sky wet in wet leaving gaps for the clouds and I'm using cerulean and I'm just sort of working my way down to the horizon just being careful not to sort of touch or paint the buildings with my brush. I'm just painting a little bit of quinacridone gold just where I can see a little bit of light um, from this lamp um, in the distance here and I'm using my size 6 brush and just dampening a little bit and blending and putting a little bit on Big Ben as well. It's such an iconic scene this and I've walked this bridge many a time. I'm just painting some reflections as well using a little bit of brown and the gold mixed up in between, you know, on the ground there and this is damp into damp. I've actually wet the surface, the pavement as well and just painting this, you know, just sort of being a little bit sort of abstract here and there. I'm not painting all of the details, I'm just selecting and I'm actually now painting the pavement with a, a mix of the cerulean and I'll add a touch of, a little touch of the indigo as well just to grey it up a little bit. As you see, I've actually painted some darker reflections using the indigo and the brown using my size six brush. And I'm just painting a little bit of quinacridone gold in the distance there. This is all damp into damp, so the surface of the paper is still damp. And as you can see, I've actually put some tape around the edge to give a nice white border. This isn't stretch, it's not to stretch the paper, it's not gum tape, it's actually, it's like masking tape. So I hope that clears that up, just in case you all start stretching your paper here. I have. I'm also lifting out some highlights with my damp brush um, just to create a little bit of sort of like almost like reflection it's so wet this pavement I'm just painting the clock face of Big Ben here with a little touch of quinacridone gold and I've wet the entire surface of the uh, Big Ben and I'm actually just now using my card and painting my, my card with the quinacridone gold and the brown and it's kind of wet into wet using just the the edge of the card it's so much fun to do and it's kind of abstract it makes buildings so much easier to paint I'm using my brush here to apply the indigo with a touch of cerulean So just finishing off these buildings now and once I complete this stage I'm going to start painting the people and before I paint the people I thought it'd be really useful to show you a simple people painting exercise to get you started. So I'm using an M and W technique so the M for the top half of the body and the W for the bottom half and bringing everything to a point and this is just for little people accessorizing already small head remember no neck no hands no feet no facial features so I'm just sketching someone coming the other way now so the person on the left is um, walking away the other person's coming too I've given this person on the right a skirt you know so you're sort of accessorizing I love sketching with my pen the pen actually keeps you loose 
and actually sometimes um, helps you draw more correctly. I always find with the pencil, you've got the rubber there or the eraser and you've always got it there to use and it makes you sort of not look as well. And I would um, sort of recommend maybe getting a, you know, a street scene and start sort of applying some of these techniques here. So as you can see here, um, I'm actually drew the arch window here with a W for legs and uh, it's so effective and you can do two sticks for the legs as well and paint them in whatever you fancy whatever works for you and why not put those in the comment section below so as you can see here I'm just blocking in some of the colors I like to do this in two stages adding the shadows later you don't have to do this obviously with pen you can use a pencil um, if you you know you're putting these in a painting where you're not um, you know painting pen and wash um, use a pencil and then fill in exactly the same way I'm filling in here with color keeping it really loose I try to with my little people try to do just two washes this first wash here and then a shadow wash, um, which is a really good way of bringing them to life without giving them too much detail. So I'm actually um, adding a child here. I'm just adding sort of a little bit of blue here, a touch of the dark green. This is all wet on dry and I'm using my size four round black velvet brush. I'm giving this little little boy or girl a little red hat as well just to kind of give it a pop of colour and of course the very important shadow to ground these people. Once your painting has dried try to remind yourself which direction the light's coming from. I always sometimes put a little sun at the top of my masking tape or something and then an arrow to remind me so all the shadows then if the light's coming from the left all the shadows on the clothing etc should be on the right hand side as well as the ground as well and it just look at this just painting a little bit of shadow color you could mix ultramarine with cadmium red watered down and just glaze that over the right hand side simple as that and that's just wet on dry as well and it just creates enough detail without sort of over fussing with the painting it brings the people to life so going back to my painting, I'm going to use those same techniques to bring these people to life. Now I'm using my size six brush. It's all wet on dry. And I'm just using those four main colors, the cerulean, the indigo, and just varying the sort of clothes. So they all kind of look a little bit, you know, colorful as much as I can. I mean, if you half close your eyes and look at the photograph, they all look like they're wearing black or dark gray colors. So I'm just varying it. Um, just to kind of make it a little bit easier and just painting their reflections in as well and using squiggly sort of lines to create a little bit of movement so that it looks like a reflection and um, it's quite effective because obviously I've got that really sort of soft reflection underneath and now I've got another reflection painting it wet on dry remember less is more I'm actually painting um, part of the bridge here and using um, the card again, using a mixture of the uh, indigo with some cerulean, but you could use Payne's gray and blue. It's quite effective then. I'm just putting a little bit over underneath the cards to create a little bit of shadow there. I'm also just softening the um, marks that the card made on the bridge here with a damp brush. I've allowed my painting to dry and I'm actually printing with the card now wet on dry using a mixture of the browns and the greys just to put some darker marks in watercolor we work light to dark so it's very effective here just printing with these darks here and there's some lovely perspective in this painting as well so it really creates the depth just those lines looking like they're going to join together in the distance and merge i'm just sort of creating a little bit of detail on the bridge here as well
I'm just adding a little bit of um, detail to the people. And I will put a link in the description below for a video where I talk a little bit more about how to paint people. So I hope you find this helpful. I'm just painting the numbers now on the clock face there, trying to keep things really simple using my size two brush. I'm also painting the top of the spire there and some little darks and details with some browns um, with my size six brush now, just softening some of those marks that were that I made with the card, which were a little bit strong. I'm just painting a little bit of details now on this lamp and also using the card to create some darks and details. I thought I'd use the card in between the people as well for sort of just to create a little bit of texture there. Um, it's quite exciting actually just to dab your card into the paint and just create these textured marks. They they not only give the detail of lines and things, but they just sort of liven the painting up as well. to sketch outlines, add free tutorials that are longer, more in depth, why not check out my Patreon membership? Details about that can be found in the description below. Still adding a few details with my brush now, I'm using mainly the indigo with some cerulean or maybe a mixture of the brown as well. I'm just painting in some reflection of the lamp here now, wet on dry, using again the mixture of the indigo with a little bit of cerulean and again sort of wriggling my brush to create that look of almost like reflections in water because the pavement is so wet and it's really, really effective. Don't be afraid of painting a street scene like this. Just have a go. You know, you can just practice maybe even in your sketchbooks and something like this. Try not to overwork your paintings. Try to just paint once and, and not worry them, if you see what I mean. Just painting a few marks in that reflection as well and along the edge of the pavement here, just creating that little bit more detail to finish off the painting. I just finished off using some white gouache with the card there to give the painting a little bit more light and sparkle. And for those of you that sort of lose a little bit of your light or want to add a little bit more color, I'm using Artist Soft Pastels. They're like chalk. They don't have to be artists either. It's just I happen to have this lovely little box of Sennelier Soft Pastels. And I'm using oranges and yellows and reds just to create a little bit of pop of light. I'll also use a little bit of white as well on the pavement um, to create a little bit of more light on there as well. So here is the finished painting. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helps you to paint people in a landscape or cityscape. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. If you would like to get access to my exclusive watercolor tutorials, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about the membership can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.